So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to create your MUMMC, your emulated NAND for your modded switch. Now, I have already modded my switch and I use my SIS MMC, which is my actual system NAND, but there are a lot more risks with using your SysNAND. But basically using a emulated MMC gives you a much less risk of getting banned. It does require a large micro SD card. I would certainly suggest a 128 gigabytes. And while I still don't plan on doing shady things on my modded switch as some people do, I just want to be able to play game mods in a more safe manner. Mainly speaking, CTGP Deluxe. That has recently come out so I really want to play that. But I will be using the actual written guide and I suggest you follow along on there. If you search up NH Switch Guide, you'll be able to come up with it. Just skip through a few steps and you'll be here on this page. It'll give you the pros and cons using MUMMC, as you can see here, or SysMMC, which is your system NAND. So obviously I'm gonna hit continue with the MUMMC path and it takes us to this page. It will give you every step you can follow, but if you need a visual reference, that's what I'm here for. I will be doing it in this video. But let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do before we create the MUMMC is if you have anything important on your SD card, we need to back that up because partitioning it will wipe everything. Now, if you are okay with losing everything on your SD card, that's fine, you can skip this step, but I am not, so I'm gonna be going to Tools, USB Tools, and SD Card. And now I'm going to plug my Type-C in here. You guys have probably already done this. It's connected to my PC. So as you can see, there is my Switch SD Card and I do have a bunch of stuff on it that I don't want to get rid of. So on my desktop, you can do this anywhere. I'm going to create a new folder, switch SD backup. And all I'm going to do is highlight everything and drag it inside. And I'll just wait a little bit and meet you back when it's done. All right, it is all transferred over. Open it up and beautiful. So just hit eject on your switch. You should see disk ejected. Press close, press B and now under tools, we can go to partition SD card. So this is the current partition. It is all one, but we're going to change that so we can have one of them be our MUMMC and the other one be our sys MMC. So press OK. And now we're going to have an option to slide these. So as per the guide, we're going to change our MUMMC raw to 29 full. There it is. And if you're on a OLED switch, you can change it to 58 full, but this is a V1 switch. But once you have that, we can hit next step and then hit start. After five seconds, do you really want to continue? Hit power and it will begin partitioning your SD card and that was fast. Press OK when it's done. And now we can go back, back, go back to the home. Now we can go to MUMMC here, hit create MUMMC and SD partition part one. And it will create your MUMMC. So we're only 2% done. I will meet you when we are 100% done. We are good, that took seven minutes. Now we're gonna press close and change MUMMC and change it to SD raw one. And there we go, it's saved, press okay, go back. And now before we load into it, there is a very, very important step we have to do. We have to connect our switch back to our PC. So to go to USB tools, SD card, and there we go. I'll meet you back over there. And we can now see on our switch SD, we have two new folders. You can minimize that. And on the guide that we're following from the official Nintendo homebrew page, go to SD preparations. And at this point, if you did not have any of these files, for your modded switch if you are currently in the process of modding it well you can continue on the guide but in my case minimize this we're not done with this page yet but for now I'm gonna minimize that open up my switch SD backup this is what I backed up from before we partitioned it and my switch SD card which now looks like this what I'm gonna do and if you were in the same situation as me we're just gonna highlight everything and drag it back on to our switch SD card and we can just press skip these files because they're already on our switch SD and we don't really need our backup anymore but I'm gonna leave it on my computer just in case you never know and now one of the most important parts will be grabbing this mummc.txt file 
And just so you're aware, having that file on your SD card will prevent your MU MMC, your MU NAND, which we just created, from connecting to Nintendo, which will save you from getting banned. We, of course, do not want that. So we need to make sure we grab that. If you were not following along on the guide on the website, again, we are at micro SD card preparations on NH switch guide, switch.hacks.guide. So now I'm gonna download it and we'll have to place it on our SD card now. Open up your SD card and your downloads. Got my download on the left and SD card on the right. On your SD card, go into Atmosphere and we are gonna right click and create a new folder called Hosts, H-O-S-T-S, -S. press enter, go inside and just place the MUMMC text inside of there. And now this is also important, we are going to copy our Nintendo folder go inside MUMMC, raw one, and paste it inside. Remember, we're not cutting and pasting, we are copying it, we're duplicating it into this folder, just to be clear. And once it transfers over, go back to the root, can close the downloads, and eject it. And here we are back on our switch. You can press close, go back, go to your home, launch, and now, you should be able to launch your CFW MU MMC. So let's do it. Unplug this, load on in. Now we're gonna go to our settings, go down to system, and you should see the E at the end there. That means we are on MU MMC. As you can see, we can load into the homebrew menu and we're good to go. So your MU MMC is fully set up and now if you wanna set up CTGP Deluxe, click the video right here and I'll meet you over there. Stay funky and happy modding.